I'll put on my lip gloss and then Mr. Farley likes to get up here and give me sugars. That's what he calls it, but he's actually licking the lip gloss off. <laughs> Mr. Furley, turn around and say good morning, sweetheart. Yeah, that's my baby. Um, have you heard, I'm sure a lot of you, if you if you watch the news, have heard about the travesty that went on at Nelson Mandela's funeral service. Um, as far as the sign language interpreter that was standing five feet away from Barack Obama goes. Um, as he says, well, the deaf community was outraged because they said it was just gibberish that his sign language amounted to nothing more than gibberish. Uh, couldn't understand him. You know, he, he just wasn't signing anything legible. Um, he claims that uh, now he gives an apology and he claims that he is schizophrenic and had lapsed into a hallucinogenic state during the service and had seen angels and was signing things that may not have made any sense to anybody. Um, nobody is taking responsibility for hiring this man. Nobody's saying who hired this man. Somebody had to hire him. Somebody needs to take responsibility for that instead of nobody speaking up. This is why the people can't trust the government anymore because things are being hidden from everybody. So, um, that's what's, that's what's happening here. So, if you haven't heard about this, go online and look it up and it's, it's just, it's a joke. It's just a joke. And until next time, bye-bye.